Joining me over the phone is Daryl Walker, the head coach of the Little Rock Trojans basketball team. Daryl, thank you so much for your time. I saw that you made the trip to go be with Eddie Sutton yesterday. Why did you decide to do that? Well, I thought it was important to be there. Uh, coach Sutton has meant so much to me in my life and my career, what I've accomplished. I don't think I've accomplished uh, a lot of this stuff without uh, being under his tutelage at the University of Arkansas. And we've always had an unbelievable close relationship. And uh, I had the time off. I decided he, I just felt that he was going to get in and I wanted to be there. Yeah, you mentioned you played under Sutton. What was he like as a coach? Oh, man, he was, he was, he was demanding. He was demanding uh, about certain things about how you carried yourself on the court, off the court, the classroom, graduating, and, and how you played the game. Uh, he made you play the game the right way, and, uh, and and that's the way I coach. I coach my guys the same way, how to play the right way. I was about to say, what did, what did you learn from him that you kind of channeled yourself as head coach? Well, defensively, you know, it, it, with, with me, it all starts with uh, with defense. That's how Coach Sutton was. And, and then you you got to have some discipline. Kids these days, you know, they're, they're coming from AAU, and uh, they're just – you know, they haven't been taught really, not, not all AAU programs, but they haven't been taught how to play the game. And then you have to teach guys how to play. you got to give them some discipline. you got to tell them, uh, you know, that's a bad shot or that's a bad play. And they don't want to hear that. And at the end of the day, that's your job to correct your players and give them some discipline. Well, Eddie Sutton is officially a member of the Hall of Fame. What was that like being there, watching him get that phone call? Oh, man, it was great. I was standing right there with uh, Steve Sutton and, and Scott Sutton and Sean Sutton. We all was there, and grandkids was there. And, and I know we got to see 19, but we all kind of for that five to six minutes kind of threw that out the window for a second. And, I mean, it was it was great for Coach. He understood what was going on, and I mean, he was happy. He just kind of you know closed his eyes, and he was happy. And we were, all, we were always ecstatic for him. It's, it's, it's long overdue. It should have happened ten years ago, seven years ago. Yeah, you mentioned it. it took such a long time for this to happen. What's it like for you knowing that he's finally going to be in the Hall of Fame? Man, it's going to be it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Uh, it's long overdue. And, and and I sat and told him after everybody cleared out. And I thanked him for everything that he'd done for me. And, and he kind of shed some tears. And I just told him, that, look, you get ready to go in the Hall of Fame with your contemporaries, Dean Smith and, uh, and, and, and Bobby Knight. I said, so you're going to be right in there with those guys, which deservedly you should have been there a long time ago. Well, right now, clearly a downtime for everyone involved with sports. What's it like for you right now having this time off? How are you staying busy? Well, I'm drinking a lot of red wine. That's about <laughs> it. No, really, I, I try to go to the office and watch a, uh, a, a game of, of our season once a day for about an hour and a half, two hours, and I come back home and just keep myself busy and working out a little bit in the gym by myself and, and uh, just thinking about you know how, how to have another good season next year. Yeah, I'm sure it's frustrating for, for you guys in particular, knowing that the NCAA tournament was coming up and you guys were probably going to be in it. Uh, what's it like for you having to to know that your guys are going to miss that opportunity? Well, you have to be, you know, you're dealing with people's children at 18, 19, 20 years old. So you have to, uh, and I'm glad the NCAA and everybody else made the right decision to cancel it because New Orleans would have been a bad place for us to be at. So. I uh, felt bad for my guys, but I just told them nothing can take away the season that you guys accomplished, that we accomplished, and that's going to always be in the record book. So uh, the thing is, we got un we got unfinished business. We're going to try to come back next year and see if we can get it done. All right, Daryl Walker, thank you so much for your time. Okay, thank you so much. Bye-bye.